Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I was able to get my hands on something that I'm really excited about and I'm gonna show you guys what it is. So I was able to find some of the Dollar Tree vinyl that I've been seeing all over the place. Um, I, I've heard it's kind of hard to find in some Dollar Trees, but luckily I was able to snag up at least a few different colors. Um, but in case you guys didn't know, they have some holographic and they have buffalo plaid and all kinds of cool patterns and colors. But this is all my local Dollar Tree had. So I got kind of like a blush pink glitter, green, it's like a forest green, an orangey red, gold glitter, yellow, and this is black glitter. So that is what I was able to find. So if you didn't know, this is a permanent vinyl paper. It's just like vinyl, like you would buy kind of like Oracle 651 or Starcraft HD. So it is a permanent vinyl and it comes in a 12 by 48 inch roll. So pretty good deal for a dollar and I'm anxious to see how it works. So what we're gonna be doing today I have a Dollar Tree cup right here. So we are going to make us an SVG file. I'm gonna show you guys how it feels, how it cuts and weeds, and then we're gonna see how it applies and how it lasts on these cups. So that is the goal today. That is what we're gonna be doing. So let's go ahead and get our SVG file ready, and then we'll go ahead and open this up and kind of see how it feels. Okay, so I think these are the three colors that I'm gonna be using for this project. I wish that I had an actual orange color, but this really does, I know it looks kind of red in the camera, but it's kind of an orangey red, so I'm gonna use this one as our plain color, and then I'm gonna use these two glitters, which is kind of like a blush pink orangey glitter and black glitter. So let's go ahead and open it up and just kind of see how the vinyl feels. Okay, so right off the bat, it does feel a lot thinner. It kind of almost feels like paper, like a shiny paper. So I'm just kind of anxious to see how this weeds and how it looks. And it does look, when, once you open it, it looks a lot more orange. So I think it'll go well with our project. So the regular vinyl, it definitely feels more like paper, kind of like a gloss paper. And then let's see how the glitter feels. I guess I expected it to feel a lot different, but it also, it kind of has, um, it feels like paper as well, kind of like a matte paper. So, and then as you can see on the back, there's no grid lines or anything like that. Um, and it just feels like regular copy paper on the back. So that is what the texture feels like of this vinyl so far. So now that we have our colors out. Let's go ahead and pull up our SVG file on the computer and we will get that ready. As you can see, it definitely gives you a lot though. I mean, this is a good bit of vinyl for being a, only a dollar. Okay, so I have found the SVG file that I wanna use. Super cute little jack-o'-lanterns. Um, I just thought this would be at least simple enough. It should be able to cut this. If not, then we're not gonna be able to do anything small at all. But, um, okay, so as you can see, the background's transparent. It's meant to be like this, but I'll show you guys um, how to make it to where you can make it a layered decal. So what you do in this scenario, if you're using this exact same um, file, and I got this at Design Bundles as well. Love Design Bundles. So I will link it down below, the one I got. Um, so I'm going to highlight the whole thing, right click, release compound path. And as you can see, it turns it black, so we don't want that. So over here in your fill panel menu, you're gonna select the background that's transparent. And you need lines, so you're gonna go over here to your line panel. I'm gonna select my lines and make it black. So now you can see that it just like this. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the background of this pumpkin, hold down shift, click the background of that pumpkin, right click, and I'm gonna hit duplicate. So now that's gonna give us kind of a background for our pumpkin so we can make it whatever colors or anything we want. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make this all outlined again. So I'm gonna take the top out because I'm gonna make this brown, so I take this one out. And then I'm gonna highlight over all of my pumpkins and then right click and make compound path. So now as you see, if you go into the fill panel and you select black, it's all outlined again. 
So let's say we wanted our top pumpkin to be the red color and maybe the bottom's gonna be the sparkles, which I don't know if we'll be able to find one that's just like it, but we'll pick one that looks similar. And then we're gonna want our top to be brown. Okay, so now as you can see, let's just make sure this is set to go on the top. So we're just gonna right click it and bring to front. And then as you can see, when you layer it, now it's gonna have um, a background that is colored. And then you can put your um, brown on the top. And now you have a cute little layer decal. So I think that's what we're gonna go with for this one. So as you guys can see now, now we have it cut our black layer cut and our um, colors. And I hope that made sense, but that's always what I do if I ever come across a decal that's not meant to have a background and you want it to have a background, you can do that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and group everything together and move it down to be three and a half because that is as big as we can go for our cup. And as y'all can see, I know it's a little bit detailed, but it's not so detailed that it shouldn't cut. So we're gonna figure it out. So now I have, I'm gonna ungroup it and I'm gonna set everything up and we are gonna get all of these cut and ready to go. Okay, so everything's done. So now we're gonna go ahead and try and weed everything and see how it goes. So we'll start with the plain vinyl. Okay, so that did good. And I wanted to mention, I went ahead and added a rounded effect at the top because I feel like we're gonna have issues with the black um, getting all the small pieces. So I just went ahead and rounded that out so it kind of covered that whole piece up. So now let's do the glitter. Okay, so I'm gonna be completely honest. The black glitter is not my friend. Um, it, it's not, it doesn't weed very well. It doesn't stick to the transfer tape. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna make the black outline with regular Star Mask or Star Craft HD matte and we're gonna use the glitter. I was able to save the faces. So we're gonna put the glitter faces on. So we're still using mostly the Dollar Tree. We're just gonna only outline it with regular black for my sanity. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> So we have our clean mug. I cleaned it off with an alcohol prep pad and I have my um, decal here. The glitter does not want to stick to the transfer tape like at all. So I'm having to kind of like baby it. It just kind of falls off. It must have some kind of coating or something on it to prevent it from sticking to the transfer tape. But as you can see, it's very sensitive. Um, so I'm just trying to get it to at least stick down so we can get it onto our mug. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on to the cup and we're gonna adhere it really well. And this side is really sticky, so I don't think we'll have any problems with that. It's just getting it to stick to the transfer tape that was causing me a little bit of issues.
All right, everyone, so here is the completed mug. So I think it turned out really cute. Um, I do want to be honest with you guys, though. I don't have very high hopes or expectations, I guess, for the glitter vinyl. Um, nothing wants to stick to it, so I do want to mention that. Now, um, it could definitely be used more by itself for projects. I don't know how it's going to hold up on a mug. We're going to have it tested throughout the whole week. I'll get my husband or something to drink out of this cup all week, and we will see kind of how it turns out and how it lasts. Um, the vinyl, like the regular vinyl, that it doesn't have any texture or glitter, it, it seemed to go fine. It weeded great. It applied well. It weeded well. No problems cutting, but the glitter gave us a lot of trouble, as you can see. So I would not recommend going and doing anything intricate with the glitter vinyl um, or anything like that. Maybe just stick to doing um, more simple projects for the glitter. I could see this being a really cool vinyl to be used for like school projects, maybe if you're doing like poster boards, different things like that. Um, putting it on something and then selling it, I'm not too sure about that yet. I have to test it out a little bit more. Um, but like I said, we did it on a mug and I like, it's a really, it's really cute for being, like I said, just pennies put into the vinyl because we only used a little tiny portion of the vinyl and then the mug only being a dollar this is a super cute quick project that you could totally do um dollar tree's up in their game and i'm really impressed that they're starting to like expand to all these different things so you all know i had to test it out and see how it went so let me know what you think do you think that you're going to go out and try the new dollar tree vinyl let me know down in the comments below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next one and i will definitely keep you updated on how this withstands on the cup. Bye guys.